25 years at Chelsea, doing trade stands, making my sundials, my sculptures, water features, we watched with a kind of trepidation and envy at the people opposite doing these beautiful show gardens. And we threw a hat into the ring and said, can we have a go? And bizarrely, the RHS said, yes, we'll give it a go. And really, it was the narrative of the garden. The first layer of, of the garden, if you like, is this very loose planting in, just in front of the, a screen of bronze filigree panels. But they actually convey random organic planting. We move forward through there and the, the planting very subtly becomes more sophisticated. It grows into these slightly more dramatic, more formal screens and they have uh, a pattern to them, but the pattern is quite loose. The shapes and the cutouts are a bit random and a bit organic. The bench of contemplation, which allows us to sit, it's bronze, it's lattice woven, it represents chaotic thought, two seats, where individuals can engage or look outward. The water wall, which is a panel of marine grade stainless steel, with folded in such a way that you can look at it and see mirrored reflection of the shimmering garden behind you. Alternatively, you can look at the mirroring reflection of the garden to be where you are going. We follow through to the next screen, which has a floor, a, a defined floor in it. It's very precise, it's very accurate, and we've deliberately induced a floor into that screen. It culminates in the eon, which is meant to symbolize this amorphous energy center of past, present, future. It's the explosion of time at the beginning of all things, and it's the explosion of time at the end of all things. It's a focal point for this timeline, for this wormhole through from the beginning to the end. It's an awareness that whilst there is this massive energy that creates everything in harmony, holds all things in a sense of balance, what we do affects that balance. Da 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 da